so much I must say about five times hi everyone hello and just hate the sound of my own voice saying it so we'll just do a very quick hello everyone I hope you are all really well happy new year I know we're like a couple of weeks into Jan now but this is the first time me coming on this year so I just wanted to say happy new year hope you had a really lovely Christmas however you spent it and I hope you are looking forward to 2024 doesn't that sound Sounds kind of crazy. Today I'm having a shoot day at home, so I'm just getting ready and I thought we could have a bit of a catch up while I am getting ready, but we've already got a memory card issue going on on the camera, it's flashing at me. So just one sec. Okay, I'm back. So Christmas feels like such a long time ago now, doesn't it? It's just over in like a blink of an eye. I love the lead up to Christmas. I like all the fun stuff and like all the happy festive stuff. But does anyone else find come Christmas day evening, it's over. And then I feel like it almost has this, I don't really know how to describe this, but this like almost sad feeling. I don't know, it just feels over. I wanna put the Christmas tree away and just kind of get back to normal again. And I ended up taking my Christmas tree down quite early, maybe on like the 28th or even 29th because I put it up quite early as well. So I just wanted to get it all tidied away. But I hope you all had a really lovely time. It's so hard to do things like eyebrows and talk at the same time. And I feel so out of swing of being on camera. My brain just feels a bit dead still. If you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen, I've had all my hair chopped off. Well, obviously you would have seen in this video as well, but yeah, I've had it chopped off. I only booked the appointment like two days before and I just woke up and because it for me it was quite long it was like here and I actually just hate having or like all that hair around my face and I just wanted to cut it off I've wanted to cut it off for a while and when I've gone to have it cut it just hasn't been quite short enough so I was like just cut it really short like cut it to my jawline I am really happy with it but it is quite short like underneath um, it's super short and my neck was like shaved, it was that short. Before my hair was just getting a bit floppy and just feeling a bit nothing. Whereas when I have it like this, I actually feel like it's more something, if that makes sense. One of my Christmas presents um, was a new mascara. So me and my family don't really do Christmas presents. We do um, Secret Santa, which is so good because it just saves buying for the sake of it. I've spoken about this on here before. I hate just buying things for the sake of it. So we put a list of things, like a bit of a wish list into the WhatsApp group and then whoever's got um, that person can just get something from their wish list. And on my wish list, I put this mascara. It's the L'Oreal XXL Pro one. It's so good and I think it's only about 10 pounds on Amazon, it's really good. And also my Chanel bronzer is nearly coming to an end. So I put that on my list as well. And, and I got both. So I got two lovely new makeup products. I love using new products, like opening the new packaging. I also think using a new mascara is so, 
satisfying as well. It's got so cold this week. I haven't felt the cold like this for a long time. And when it's really cold, my skin gets so dry. So I've been putting loads of like hand cream on and also don't forget your cuticles. Same thing happened with my nails as what happened with my hair. I just woke up one morning. They were quite long, my nails, and I just cut them all down really short. Um, and then I had them done. I'm really happy with the colour. This is a Biab colour. I have the gel bottle. It's like a builder gel. I've had, been having this for years um, and this shade is just very easy, neutral. I just felt like it's quite a January colour. I'm not going to do this next year but for the last couple of Christmases, over Christmas and New Year, I've decided it's a really good idea for me and Tom to work on a little DIY project. Um, at home, but it's not because in between Christmas and New Year, actually all I wanted to do was just lay on the sofa, eat the chocolates and watch TV. And we ended up decorating the bedroom and it just took quite a lot longer than I thought. Um, we did lots of new woodwork and if you've ever done that, you know it. there's a lot of like uh, filling the holes, sanding, priming, painting, like it all just takes time. And Tom's quite a perfectionist, so he wants to do it nicely. So we're not like rushing or anything. So it just took quite a while and it took up the majority of our Christmas break. So that is nearly done. There's just a few more bits to do. And I have filmed the majority of the process of it. So that will be in next week's vlog. But there's just a few final things that I just really want to finish off so I can show you from like start to finish in one vlog, so that'll be next week. It might be a new year, but there's no new lip products around here. I'm still very much loving all of the ones that I loved last year, like the Hourglass Glossy Balm. I actually got distracted a minute ago when I was talking about dry skin. I actually wanted to talk and show you this eye cream. My lines around my eyes are so much more prominent when my skin is dry. If I actually keep them super hydrated with like a really rich cream, they don't look that bad. But if I don't use a cream and just put makeup on, the makeup sits in the lines. So for me, I have to keep my skin really hydrated and moisturized. Otherwise it just goes dry and liney and horrible. Um, I used to use this years ago. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. I used to use this years ago and I don't know why I stopped using it. You know, there's like lots of new products and you, I try lots of new products. When I was in Dallas a couple of months ago, I got this again and it's really just the best. It's quite a thick eye cream, um, but it just makes your eyes feel so hydrated, so moisturised, and then my makeup doesn't sit in the lines and it just makes them look so much more healthy and like dewy rather than dry and crusty. So if you also suffer with like dry or just like fine lines around your eyes, a lot of it is due to dehydration. So I would really highly recommend that. This is my first kind of proper filming day. Get some new January content out for you over on Instagram and TikTok. This is what I mean, my brain is just not working. I put this on because I'm gonna curl my hair, not curl it, but I'm gonna like, wave it with my straighteners. So before I can do any filming, I actually need to finish my hair. I am back in my pajama shirt because after, what is going on? Is this really zoomed in? Let's zoom back out. Once I finish filming, I always just like put my pajamas back on to tidy up. I haven't actually fully finished tidying up yet, but something I do need to do is go to Tesco and I wanna go before it gets too busy with like the after school, after work, rush hour. What is going, it's so bright, but I, we can't complain. We can't complain. It's been so gray and dull. I've just made a bit of a shopping list. I'm going to show you a couple of dinners that we are going to have this week because I'm always so stuck for meal ideas. And me and Tom actually like to eat different things. Like I don't eat red meat. Um, and he like steak and um like mince you know he likes to do tacos and things like that whereas i can't eat that um i sometimes will have turkey mince instead so we try to like find if he has steak i'll have salmon and then we'll have the same like accompaniments with it but this is a few these are a few dinners we're going to have this week i will leave these linked below but we just, i saw this one i always find my recipe ideas on Instagram. This one is satay chicken thighs. It looks so nice with like a peanutty sauce and greens um, and rice. And then this is another one as well. This is a like a chicken and halloumi 
one pot thing. I like as easy as possible for the week because I just hate, I don't mind like on a weekend spending more time in the kitchen, but in the week I just wanna get it like done because sometimes these complicated recipes, I'm using like all my pans and then after dinner, you're spending like half an hour plus washing up, which we don't wanna do. And also in this vlog as well, I'm going to show you some just easy, simple and classic outfit ideas because I feel like, especially this time of year, we don't know what to wear. I just feel like January is quite a uninspiring month for outfits because nothing is really happening. We're not near spring just yet. Like I feel like we've still got a couple of months to go. It just feels a bit bleak. Um, I feel like with outfit wise, it does for me anyway. It's certainly not one of the most exciting months of fashion for me. Um, but I have really been just focusing on the basics and the classics I always do in January. If you're stuck on what to wear, I really hope that that can be helpful. <laughs> more walking boots or wellies than trainers because where we are is actually quite muddy i thought it would have all frosted over but this week i just have not been feeling great just been feeling so tired and like lethargic and this isn't a pity party but it's just also to say that if you are not feeling like a hundred percent let's go january let's do it that's okay because i'm not either and actually i read somewhere that like January shouldn't actually be the month that you start all the new year resolutions and goals and stuff because I actually need to, I feel like I need to find this quote properly, but like January is the month of hibernation, it was saying. Like if you look at the trees and nature, nothing is now starting new or starting fresh. Everything kind of starts fresh again in spring. So spring is a much nicer time to set new goals and resolutions. And I really feel that because for me, January is quite, it's just a bit meh, like, January is certainly not the time where I am feeling most productive or inspired or motivated or anything. So if you're also feeling just not ready for it, then don't worry. Like this is a month of just, let's just take it easy. And then we will get back into it when our bodies are ready. But yeah, I just feel so tired. Like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk to anyone. I feel like I want to hibernate. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for the world. Today is a day where all I want for lunch is something comforting and the first thing that came to mind is beans on toast with cheese um this bread if you like sourdough bread you need to try this i got it from tesco it's the brand is jason's um, and it's this is a sourdough mixed with a bit of ciabatta so they call it ciabatta and it's absolutely delicious it's so nice so this isn't just any beans on toast this is like a nice bread Oh, the smell of sourdough bread makes me so happy. Oh, actually, I need to heat the beans up first. But don't judge me now. I've got a really stained, skanky 
plastic jug and now what I need is a nice glass Pyrex adult one um, for things like beans. I should have shaken this before. Should I do the, I feel like I'm quite hungry, I'm gonna do the whole can. I always put a bit of uh, kitchen roll over my beans so I don't get any splashes on the microwave. Or as Nigella would call it, the microwave. And um, let's create some delicious cheese. A mature cheddar is my favorite. As soon as Bertie hears the noise of this, he is there, he's already here. I think he's already sensed that there's cheese out. That is his favorite thing ever. Here we are. I've got my bread with Le Pack on. That is like a key ingredient. The beans with cheese on the top, but I normally like to put the cheese under the beans. I got carried away and I wasn't concentrating and I put the beans straight on and forgot to put my cheese underneath. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Good morning, everyone. I just got ready for the day and I'm just about to grab all of the outfits that I want to show you because as I said yesterday, I've got some really kind of easy styling outfit ideas for January. I find January quite bleak with fashion like it's just not an exciting month for clothing and what to be wearing so I think it's a really nice month to strip it back to the basics just get out your favorite classic pieces um, and that's what I've done with these outfits mixing and matching a few bits that's what, what we always like to do to make sure we're getting plenty of wear out of our things grab yourself a cup of tea hot chocolate whatever you're doing get comfy and let me grab the outfits I've bought one new item this month so far and that is this oh, I thought I should got makeup on that there um this gorgeous navy blue jumper it's got this really nice detail around here it feels really premium it's got quite like a heavy weight to the knit it's really really nice hang on it says 28 pound on the label but i feel sure online that it had like members price so it might have been like 22 pounds or something like that this jumper is such a good example that your classic and timeless pieces do not have to break the bank as i said this jumper was under 30 pounds i think this looks really premium and chic it's such a nice jumper and as i said under 30 pounds so you just don't need to break the bank to get your essentials in order so i wanted to basically challenge myself with styling this jumper up with things i've already got in my wardrobe and with navy i absolutely love styling it with creams and camels i think that is just like the dreamy color combination and that's how i always style navy and with layering on your gold jewelry as well i think that oh it's just such a nice classy color palette okay so i styled the navy jumper with some denim and i went for this slightly darker denim and this is a nice wide leg as well we're seeing a lot of wide leg jeans at the moment and i'm loving them again these are from h&m so then to break up the blue i went with this cream coat i love the fit and style of this it's so classic and with coats where they are more expensive I need them to last in my wardrobe. So now I've got a couple of different colors of a very kind of this kind of style. And this is the style that I like and wear. And I feel like that's kind of all the coats that I need really. Um, so yeah, pop that over the top. Then my favorite part, I popped these two accessories with it. I've spoken about this before, but when I add a color, so for example, in this outfit, adding the camel scarf, um, I like to tie that colour in somewhere else as well so it looks more cohesive and put together. I've got this bag that just matches with the scarf so nicely and it just works so well together. So if you're thinking about buying an accessory in a colour that you don't have anything else in, try and find like a coordinating item. I also like to do this with shoes and bag. I usually do it with shoes and bag, but in this case it's worked with the scarf. I do like just one pop of color. In an outfit like this, I feel like it looks more balanced by having two different camel items spread through the outfit. And then I wanted to keep the outfit casual, laid back, relaxed, so I just popped on the Adidas Sambas with it. When I first bought them, I wasn't sure if I was going to get my wear out of them. It goes so nicely with the wide leg trouser. This style of more of a sleek trainer has actually worked so well in my wardrobe. This next combination I'm going to show you is something I go for all the time 
when I don't know what to wear, but I still want to feel fairly smart and put together. These are my favorite faux leather trousers. These are the Abercrombie ones. I feel like this outfit as well is really easy to replicate because it's pieces, you've probably got something very similar in your wardrobe. So a striped jumper, and I particularly love this one because it's got this high neck detail, which I just love a high neck. And also, I think that this jumper was designed by a woman because fabric at the very top is black which if that was white it would have makeup all over it but this is why I think it's designed by a woman it's so genius to put the black at the top so that if makeup does get on it you can't see it as much as you would see it on the cream I bought this from H&M last year maybe in like September and it sold out really quickly but I shared this on my Instagram recently and when I went to link it I saw it was in stock so I'll leave the link down below because hopefully it is still in stock and then I've paired it with this really nice dark camely chestnut kind of colour I never know what to call this like a tan colour very similar style as the coat before this is the style that I think works for my style I can get so much wear out of this and coats are one of the most expensive things to buy in your wardrobe so always make sure if you're getting a new coat choose a color that works with what you've already got in your wardrobe if you want something different than a black coat try this color it works really well and it's oh it's just such a gorgeous color this outfit just couldn't get any more easy to style leather trousers striped jumper nice coat and ankle boots super easy works for any age you know i do a lot of styling with my mum this is an outfit i would put her in as well and also you could change these boots to a heeled boot if you wanted to dress it up a bit more we're going with this jumper again just styling it up in a different way so this time styling it up with some black wide leg trousers I end up wearing these trousers all the time. I have really got my wear out of these trousers. These are from H&M and must have cost me no more, oops, no more than 30 pounds. And they've just been such a good classic in my wardrobe. Okay, so we've got stripey jumper wide leg trouser. I've also paired them with the Sambas as well. As I was saying about the wide leg trousers, the Sambas just work so nicely because they are very sleek and just sit so nicely at the bottom of the wide leg. And then I've popped on this cream wool jacket. It's quite nice to have a mix of longer and shorter coats. And I really love the simple design of this. I think it's very elegant and chic. And actually this neckline, I think works really well with a high neck. So these work really nicely together. And don't forget the power of accessorizing. Belts, sunglasses, bags, shoes, jewelry. Never forget those final touches because that's what I think really pulls an outfit up to the next level and really elevates it. Itchy head, mate. Have you got an itchy head? A shop that I really enjoyed clothes from last year was Abercrombie and Fitch. They've got these wide leg trousers called the Sloan Pants and they bought them out in so many different colours, uh, petite, tall. They had so many different variations. I've got a few different colours and the quality is amazing. That's what I've loved so much about them. The quality feels so premium. Like these feel so thick and lovely. I wanted to wear this jumper with the trousers because I think the colours just work so nicely together. So this is another H&M jumper. This is actually a little bit itchy, but what my little hack is, and I spoke about this at the end of last year, but wear a long sleeved t-shirt under any wool or slightly itchy jumpers and two things it means you don't get as itchy as you would if you just had a bra on underneath and then secondly the jumper's actually not getting dirty it's the t-shirt underneath if that makes sense it's the t-shirt touching your skin not the jumper because jumpers like these they just don't want to be washed regularly at all unless you're going to have them professionally washed all the time which is just a, for me a bit of a pain like I've never washed this jumper and I don't plan on doing so because now I just wear a long sleeve t-shirt underneath and it's fine. I haven't spilt anything down it. We're all good and it's kept such a nice um, shape to it because I haven't washed it. Something that I love to do when pairing clothes together is go tonal. So with this uh, jumper, I've put a grey coat over the top. I love grey on grey, beige on beige, white on white, whatever it is. I think wearing one colour looks very chic and expensive. And again, the trusty Sambas have been styled with the wide leg trousers. So I'm actually so, so glad I got these because this is the shoe I've been wearing so much with the wide leg trousers. It's got so cold this week in the UK. So this next outfit, I am layering up to keep warm. And I'm starting off with some leggings. 
These ones are my favourite ever leggings for like not working out. I don't really work out that much so I can't comment on that but just for kind of wearing leggings as a comfort thing these ones it's the all day sweaty betty because they are so soft they've got a big sale on at the moment and actually I bought these two years ago in the Black Friday sales and they've lasted so long so I know they are expensive but there's something that really will last you Ooh. okay so sorry Betty are we keeping you up this is the t-shirt I've been talking about, the layering t-shirt. It's just from H&M, um, but I really want to get the Uniqlo thermal layers. If you get really cold, have a look. I will link them below. I think they're called the Uniqlo Heat Tech t-shirts. I've heard everybody raving about them. They are like a thermal uh, long sleeved top to wear under your clothes. I'll link them below as well if you want to check them out. But in the meantime, this is what I have been wearing. It's just a long sleeved ribbed t-shirt. So I've put that on underneath. Then I've gone with this jumper, which I love so much. I got this from Arquette a couple of years ago and it's just such a nice colour. It's so wearable and it's really lovely and it feels nice when I wear it. I wear it all the time. And then for our coat layer, again, I've gone tonal. These two colours are almost identical and I love it. So this is from Mango. As I said, it is cold, so we are going with a scarf as well. What I love about this scarf is the width of it. It's just perfect width to go like that and just tuck it there because I hate my neck or chest getting cold. I can't remember if I got this last winter or the winter before. This was actually a bit of a bougie buy. This is a Loewe scarf. I think it was around 250, 300 pounds. Um, but I do like to have a few little designer accessories just to elevate my outfits. I don't want my wardrobe to be full of designer clothes. That is just not a goal for me personally in my life. I love the shops that I shop in now and I like just having a few little bits and bobs here to elevate my outfits. And then I've gone with trainers. I've actually put two pairs of socks on here. I put trainer socks on because the trainer socks that I've got, they're just from Primark, but they're actually so thick and warm. But because I didn't want my ankle out and I wanted um, a coloured sock that kind of matched my coat I put a brownie sock on as well so I had two pairs of socks on and then put these new balance on okay so I hope that helped or might given a few ideas of what you can be wearing this January and also tomorrow I'm heading into London to have my Botox topped up I've spoken about having my Botox done before but I started having it done at 30 I feel like I was quite late to the game I really really love it and I love the lady who I go to I usually have it done every three to four months but this time I've gone about six months because I just didn't book an appointment in I know in the back of this vlog you've seen little sneak peeks of the bedroom but like that cupboard there isn't actually that needs to be painted which is going to be painted at the weekend we haven't put the lights up um there's a few little bits and bobs i want to finish so i can show you it fully next week good morning everyone it's friday morning and it's really wet as you can see on the windows oh, so i put a cap on because i feel like it kind of protects my hair a little bit i've just got a black jumper black leggings and my new balance trainers that I haven't worn for quite a while because I'm gonna from Euston I'm going to walk to um I'm gonna walk I'm not gonna get the tube um, and so because I had the new balance gray trainers I've put the my Abercrombie gray coat I just had a quick smoothie on the way here okay my train is leaving in a few minutes i've also got a tote bag with me today because i need to edit this vlog so i'm hoping like on the train and if i'm waiting for my appointment i can get on with the editing so i've got that packed um so let's go i'm doing a very quick outfit of the day from my boot i have wedged the phone on my boot um and here is the outfit of the day mm -hmm. 